This exhibition is called Chow, Making the Chinese American Restaurant. And we wanted to tell a compelling cultural story. And we, when we were doing research, we realized that the story of Chinese American cuisine is one of the most extraordinary ones of hardship, adaptation, and entrepreneurship. And also it's one that everybody can relate to because no matter where you are in the US, you're probably not very far from a Chinese American restaurant. At the time when Chinese American restaurants got their start, anti-immigrant sentiment in the U.S. was at a fever pitch. There were a lot of insults and attacks on Chinese immigrants, and we actually enacted a law called the Chinese Exclusion Act, which banned immigration from China for over 60 years. And the Chinese Americans who were left behind didn't have very many opportunities, so they turned to opening businesses, among which were restaurants. And they needed to market that food toward non-Chinese diners. Chinese food first came to the U.S. Uh, with the first Chinese immigrants who came from Guangdong province in southern China in the mid-19th century, really uh, coinciding with the California gold rush. They started some of the earliest Chinese restaurants in America, in San Francisco in particular. But Chinese American food as we know it, as a sort of fusion hybrid cuisine, didn't really take off until the late 19th century or early 20th century. Every group that's come from China has left their own sort of fingerprint on the cuisine. The Cantonese brought dishes like chop suey and egg foo young. Sichuanese brought dishes like kung pao chicken. And then you have dishes like general so chicken which came from the Hunanese. And so, in a way, it's kind of this uh, collective creation. Often people talk about Chinese food in the U.S. Uh, like General Tso's chicken and egg foo young and, and other dishes that you might find at your local takeout restaurant as fake or not real. But in fact, this is a cuisine uh, that has its own story and its own history and that was created by real people. Um, and so I think it's important to look at that story and understand it and understand the forces that shape that cuisine, um, whether or not you enjoy it yourself. That story is a, is a very human one and a very important one. For me, one of the most important things for people to learn at Chow or to start to appreciate is how immigrants contribute to American culinary identity. And even when they're being treated very poorly and we are actually actively telling them that they don't belong, that they form an incredibly important part of who we are as a country. And that's for me one of the most important takeaways. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.